Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're looking at an old clip, but a good clip. A lot to talk about on it. Um, it's about women that believe strangers rather than her own boyfriend. Mm. Mm. Let's get into it. Yeah. So are you ready to be honest and tell me that you're cheating on me? I didn't cheat on you. You went on a date with this girl. It wasn't a date. She literally told me that you took her out to eat. No. Yeah, and you guys hooked up. You can't sit here and deny that. I am denying because it it's not true. It, okay, sure. So are you saying she's lying? I'm saying she's lying. Let's find out from her. Okay. All right. Oh my God. Paula, can you tell him what you told me? So I pretty much told her that he took me to this really fancy restaurant and afterwards we went back to my place and hooked up. And that he came on to you in the car and you guys were kissing? Yes. Yeah, see? Well, why would you sit here and lie? I lied because... So you weren't telling Wait. the truth? I didn't think that she deserved you, so I lied. Where oh my god. Concerned. Clearly she doesn't value the faithful, amazing man that you are. So there is more to that story mm -hmm. than I think that clip says, because why is the guy so like, oh, thank God, thank God he said that. Well, I think he's saying thank God that she came, you know. Yeah, quite possibly. I think there's something, something's not quite right with that situation, but why does the girlfriend to the point of the story. Why does the girlfriend automatically believe the woman rather than her boyfriend? Because you've got to believe your female support system. Do you? Yeah. Over everything? Apparently. Is that man not her not her world? I don't know, but it seems like... Only up like, until it breaks, right? It seems like the, the woman who lied is, is assuming, and possibly rightfully so, that she does not deserve him because she yeah. doesn't believe in the his faithfulness. By everything we've seen, I think she's probably right. Yeah, I think so. Peter, make me come out of here. Peter, come on, come out of here. You didn't see that get bad. Peter, we have a book. Blood job, Peter, you nearly dead. Oh, what? <laughs> Who hurt that little guy? He, he is, is starting early. A woman beater in training. This is your kind of weekly motivational thing to get your ass to the gym. If that guy can find some time to go to the gym, then you can get your ass there. <laughs> he looks like he's getting ready to like beat. No. Uh, seven twelve. Sure. Is it twelve ten? Twelve ten. Twelve oh nine. Twelve oh nine. Yeah, you're close. No, nine twenty five. Nine twenty five. Close, you're five minutes off. Oh. I think it's 902. 902? 209. 209? Okay. Why would, it be, why would it be 902? Why would we be in school at 902? Why wouldn't we be in school at 902? Okay. So what's the conclusion, guys? 902. 209. Okay, let's let the viewers decide. Like 674. Is it 3 o'clock? AM or PM? Gotta be AM, bro. Okay. Since you asked a really good question, you said, why are these women letting strange men come into their homes? Well, you have to keep in mind, these aren't strange men. These are men that they're dating. So what they do is they come in, they love bomb, just kind of like the hospice care, the men that are looking for hospice care wives. They come in, they love bomb you, act like that they've looked for you all of their lives and they're your prince charming and then this is what they're doing. So there, it's not, these are not just strange men coming into their homes. In my friends' cases, and I'm not sure that they were uh, burglar boyfriends, but I have two girlfriends, houses cleaned out, and now this young lady has brought this up. And so that's the phrase, burglar boyfriends. They were dating these guys for a significant amount of time. And so when you date someone, obviously you're going to let them come to your home if you are in a relationship with them. So this is something that we have to look out for. I don't know how, because when you're dating somebody, they're going to end up coming to your house. So I don't know what the answer is, but just be aware that burglar boyfriends are out there. Have you heard about burglar boyfriends before? I've not, but it gives me risky business vibes, like mm. Tom Cruise coming home and his house is cleaned out. Kind of, he... kind of that, yeah. <laughs> so like you're dating this guy for let's say a month, right? And he's showered you with affection. He's loved bombed you so hard that you are you know, infatuated with him and you give him free reign around the house and you come home immediately after that and it's been burgled and there's nothing left. That's so frightening, my mm -hmm. God. 
yeah, it happens. Like, uh, you know, women aren't just the arseholes, guys can be the arseholes as well. But I think it's useful to say, okay, you better understand who you're inviting into your house yeah. if, you, if you invite them in, right? Not just after a month. And if they're love bombing you, you've got to understand, like, why? Why are you so, like... But you can only see that afterwards, usually. If yeah. someone's love bombing you, then they've got you totally and completely. And you can look back in retrospect and say, damn, I was love bombed. But at the time, you're like... You're not going to say my son has flaws. You're not gonna ruin my you day. Are not. Wow. <laughs> Everybody has flaws and that's why I love them. You yeah. can get out of my wedding now. Oh, I'm leaving. Yes, you fresh are. Okay. Does so she close the interaction? Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Hey, don't drive. Hey, hey I, w I wouldn't drive. Don't, don't drive like that. Hey. Uh, Miss, Miss, you're not gonna drive like that, are you? No, I'm not going stay on drive. I don't want the. This is crazy. What? She's walking it like a like a dog. What is, no, I don't understand what's happening. Hey, no, hey, don't drive like that. I wouldn't. Okay, well, no way. Oh my I hope to God that those are not connected. I'm mad. And I'll tell you why. Because y'all wanna know. So, this is a maybe the second or third video that we've seen in which someone is sitting in their car passively making comments about women acting stupid with cars. Get out of the car! Do you want to see them get blown up and chunks of their body spray your windshield? Get out of the car and tell them to stop. Just like the women with the oil. I mean, that guy finally intervened and drove up and was like, are you trying to put canola oil in your, don't put that in there. Thanks, sir. They didn't want to listen to him. He needs to be a little bit more aggressive. I know we are afraid of men being aggressive. I get it. But if you want to see someone survive another day, get out of the car. Tell them that they're being stupid. Rate that rant, give it a five. Five, maybe, I, I guess five out of ten, I think. Five out of ten? Yeah, five That's out of ten. That's really low. <laughs> it's not a good way to end on this episode, but we're going to do it. So uh, make sure you comment, especially on that last piece. What do you think? Give us a like, subscribe, it helps out the channel. And we'll catch you in the next one. Bye.